guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. In this video, we're going through my tips from round 15 as well as predicting uh, the round 16 results. And I believe if I just look at it quickly here that I did get a six out of six for round uh, 15, which is a really good one as well. Um, given that there were some uh, tips that went against the grain a little bit that I did tip, got them right. And obviously six out of six is pretty good. Uh, but before we jump into this video, remember to like and subscribe, turn the notification bell on so you know when I upload and let's get into this video. So the first tip of the round, Carlton against uh, Geelong. I had Carlton by 21 and they ended up winning by 63. They ended up smoking him in the last quarter. I think they kicked something like five, five more goals in the last quarter or something like that. Um, so I was 42 points off there, but at least getting the tip right. Port Adelaide against Brisbane. This was a tip that I think a lot of people got wrong if they got their tip wrong for the round. Um, I had Brisbane by 18. They ended up winning by 79, so they blew them out. So this was a massive blowout. Um, but yeah, still Brisbane away from home at Adelaide Oval against Port was a tough matchup, you would think, given that um, Port are pretty good at home. And they ended up smoking them, and they're a real contender now. They're 10th. They are one win effectively outside of fifth place. Um, at the moment, so they could easily jump into sort of that 6-7 range um, next this weekend. Uh, GWS against Sydney at NG Stadium. I had Sydney by 16. They ended up winning by 27. A little bit of a comeback in the last quarter by GWS, but the game was dead and buried by then, so um, Sydney sort of might have just put their foot off the pedal, which was a little bit annoying given that um, they had habits of doing that last year, so you probably don't want to see that. Melbourne against North, I said Melbourne by 16, they ended up winning by three, it's, it was lucky that Keenan Brown came on and his one act was a game-saving tackle to be honest with you, North Melbourne were out and they were gone, they were going to score that goal if he didn't lay that tackle on Larky, so they ended up winning which was a good thing but I was 13 points off there, Essendon against West Coast, I was... I predict Essendon by 27. They ended up winning by 30. I was pretty happy with that tip. Yes, I did want uh, West Coast to win at one point just because it's Essendon and I wanted West Coast to win because Essendon falling down the ladder would be quite funny. But um, Essendon in the end just got the goods together, got the job done and ended up winning by 20, uh, by 30 points, which means I was three points off, which is a pretty good tip. And then I had Fremantle by 21 points and they ended up winning by 20. So another really good tip there. The last two tips, the sat Sunday tips, I was four points off across the two games, which is really, really good. And then obviously we had Adelaide, Collingwood, Hawthorne, Richmond, St. Kilda and Western Bulldogs all on the bye. So now we go into round 16. Um, and you got Brisbane versus Melbourne to start the round. I think Brisbane win this game. And I think that they... Um, so I think that they win that game against Melbourne just because Clary's out of form. Petrarch is out. I'm going to say Brisbane win this game by... They're at the Gabba as well. I think they win it by 23 points, to be honest with you. Uh, so let me just put that in. Brisbane by 23 at the Gabba over Melbourne. Then we have North Melbourne versus Western Bulldogs. I'm predicting Western Bulldogs to win this game over North as I just think that uh, Western Bulldogs will come back um, from their bye. And I think North, they're, they're competing well, but North also have uh, the likes of Woodlaw out for two weeks with concussion. I think that's a huge blow. So I'm going to go Western Bulldogs by 27 points. Then you have Sydney uh, against Fremantle. Sydney, the form team of the comp, against Fremantle, who are doing pretty well. Um, they did have a slip-up a couple of weeks ago against Western Bulldogs, but came back strongly against Gold Coast, as we said a little while ago. I'm going to go Sydney by... I think Fremantle will give them a, a tough run for their money, but I do also think that um, Alex Pierce being out and not really replacing him adequately will be huge for um, Sydney's forward line. I think that they'll have at least one of the key forwards go off. So I'm going to go Sydney by 23 points. Sorry, no, make that uh, make that uh, 26 points, actually. Uh, then we'll go here. Gold Coast versus Collingwood. This is an interesting one. This is at Gold Coast. Collingwood do have a lot of their guys back. But Gold Coast have been shocking recently. They've lost their last two games, um, both away from home. One to, uh, one to St Kilda, and then also one to uh, Fremantle. 
Uh, Gold Coast, I don't think they get anyone back necessarily from uh, their side. A couple from their side last week. Let me just double check that. I don't think they get anyone back. Uh, let me just double check. They have Ben King and Nick Holman back. So they do actually get uh, Ben King back, which will be huge for them. Nick Holman, this is an interesting one because you have all of the... Um, you have quite a lot of guys coming back for Collingwood, but also Gold Coast plays so much better at um, at uh, People's First Stadium. So I'm actually going to tip the upset in Gold Coast, even though I don't think, even though that seems sort of outlandish as well, thinking about it. But I'm going to tip Gold Coast by, um, I'm going to tip him by 11 points. Then you got Adelaide against GWS, I'm going to tip GWS. Adelaide just looked so out of whack. So I just think that GWS wins this game. Um, even though it's at Adelaide Oval, I think GWS, with the return of Colts as well, I think that would be massive. So I'm going to go GWS by um, 20, 25 points. Then you have uh, Geelong against Essendon. Another if he won to tip, I think that Geelong could come back and win this game over Essendon, but it's hard to tip against Essendon at this point. Geelong have lost two on the bounce and four out of their last five. They lost to Gold Coast um, out in Darwin. They lost to GWS. Uh, they beat Richmond. They lost to Sydney, and then they also lost to Carlton. Do I think that there'll be a bounce back? Um, there should be, probably. Um, but, again, it's Essendon, and I don't think they got anyone too, too big back to uh, Geelong. Geelong, Humphreys, Neil, Nevitt in for Hawkins, Henry, and Mullen. And Essendon had Goldstein and Gresham in for Caddy and Kelly. Um, uh, to be honest, I'm going to go... My, my heart says go with Geelong. My head says go with Essendon. So I'm going to go with Essendon to win this game by 18 points, to be honest with you. Um, then you have St Kilda against Port. I'm going with Port Adelaide. I know Port just got flogged by um, by Brisbane, but St Kilda have just been... Uh, sorry, Port got flogged by Brisbane after St Kilda got flogged by Brisbane the week before... Uh, beaten by Brisbane the week before, so it's almost a direct matchup. Um, GWS and Gold Coast and then West Coast Eagles and Carlton. Um, yeah, I think just Port uh, need a bounce back. They've been talked about all this week about Hinkley and stuff like that, so I think they need a bounce back. So I'm going Port by 15 points away from home. Then you have Carlton against Richmond. Uh, Carlton should win this one, to be honest with you. They're one of the more form teams of the comp, and Richmond haven't uh, really done much. I mean, they did beat, uh, Richmond did beat Adelaide, but they haven't done that much outside of that and beating the Swans, which is still the greatest mystery of this year. So I'm going to go Carlton by 24 points. And then you have West Coast against Hawthorne. I know West Coast at Optus Stadium will probably do well, but I think Hawthorne are on the hunt at this point in time. So I'm going to go Hawthorne by 27 points. So that pretty much is the video there going through all of my tips for round 16 as well as reviewing all my round 15 tips. So I guess I will see you guys back here on either Saturday or Sunday for my first recaps of the round. Bye guys.